Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a combo pack from All Powers. It is the R1500 and the included APSP033 solar panel. So let's get started. Alright, first let's open up the portable power station. On top you get a bag with an AC power cord and a warranty activation envelope along with the visit us on Facebook and the portable power station user's manual. You also get a big thick piece of styrofoam and then the portable power station. All right, this unit weighs in right at around 36.8 pounds or 16.7 kilograms. Uh, the size is 16.25 inches across by 12.28 inches tall and it is 10.43 inches deep. The battery capacity of this is 1152 watt hours. It does support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and it can be used as a dedicated UPS system. When it comes to the outputs, it has two USB outputs which are Quick Charge 3.0 they are rated at 18 watts. It also has two USB-C power deliveries, which are rated at 100 watts. Under these covers are four AC receptacles, and they are rated at 20 amps. When it comes to the AC side, the output is between 100 and 120 volts, and the maximum wattage is 1800 watts. And when it comes to the AC receptacles, I want to also mention that they can handle a surge of 3000 watts. On this DC output right here, this is your cigarette lighter and that would be a 12 volt, 10 amp receptacle. And on the top, you can see there are two spots for wireless quick charging up to 15 watts each. On this side, there is a compartment that has ports for uh, battery expansions. So you can actually expand this with two more batteries. The back does have just all the information about the portable power station. And this other side is all of your inputs. You have your AC charger right here, which can handle uh, 100 to 120 volts at 15 amps max. You have your AC overload protector right here. And then you have your solar and car input right here. And this can handle between 12 and 95 volts with a 13 amp maximum. The type of battery is a lithium iron phosphate, so it is uh, a safe chemistry. And some of the protections on this unit are high temperature protection, low temperature protection, over discharge, over charge, and over low protections, short circuit protection, and over current protection. So it is very safe. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on, see what happens. All right, we get a state of charge indicator and percentage. So we're at a 67% state of charge. It shows a wattage input, a wattage output, and the uh, number of days or hours remaining right here on the screen. So that's nice to see. Your power button also turns green when it's on. To turn on the USB side, you would just click this button right here. And that does also turn on the DC output for your cigarette lighter and it does show indicators at the top of everything that is turned on. It does say right here, press DC button three seconds to turn on or off the Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go, your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi signals have shown up. So it is ready to be paired with the app on your phone. And then if you wanna turn on the AC side, and it does show a plug right there, and you can hear the inverter click on. While the unit's on, if you press the power button, it does severely dim the screen so it's kind of like a night mode which is nice and to turn it off you just have to hold the uh, power button for about two seconds and it turns the unit off all right and along with the power station came this solar panel so let's open that up all right and here's what the solar panel looks like as soon as you pull that out of the box you can see from right here that it has this green little stripe right here which is a nice little design it has two uh, clips here and here to be able to unfold the solar panel. There's also a leg and a carrying handle right here. On the other side is another leg and this zippable pouch. 
Inside the pouch, you'll see that this panel is connected with MC4 connections right here. And then we have uh, a couple of different other cords. It looks like MC4, there's an MC4 to XT60 cord. And also it looks like a MC4 to 5521 barrel plug right here. And then you have your barrel plug adapters right here to go along with it. So this power station's at 67% right now. I think I'm just gonna take this whole setup outside and charge it up that way. Uh, this is a 200 watt solar panel and, it, and it's like a quad fold. So it's way too big to show you, uh, you know, in my small basement room here. So let's just go ahead and take it outside. All right, so there is the solar panel all unfolded. Let's go ahead and turn around the back and get it connected. All right, I like this setup because first of all, you can see that this power station fits right in between the two legs of the solar panel. So it's, a, it's nice and shaded from this, because you don't want these in direct sunlight at all. So this is actually very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get our uh, XT60 to MC4 cabling out. Go ahead and connect these up over here. All right, and all we gotta do is turn it on and plug it in. All right, well this All Powers has been out here for uh, less than 10 minutes now. And the it's kind of a cloudy day, so it's only getting 86 watts of power going into the unit. But when I first brought it out, it was nice and sunny, and um, I saw up to 152 watts. And this, I, I you know, and I just set this out. I didn't angle it towards the, you know, towards the sun perfectly or anything like that. So. Um, 150 watts out of a 200 watt panel is not terrible at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this thing out here for about an hour just to see what it gets. And then I'll go ahead and just take it inside to charge it up the rest of the way. So that way I can start doing some uh, AC and DC efficiency tests. All right, well, this all power is power station and this 200 watt solar panel have been sitting out here for a little over an hour. And we are looking at 80% now and we're bringing in 88 watts. Now, if you look at the sky, you can see that it's partly cloudy. So that's why we're not getting optimal sunshine. All right, I finished the DC efficiency test on the All Powers R1500. And you can see that it gave us 980 watt hours right there. Now out of 1152, that makes it an 85% efficiency rate on the DC side. And when we check the efficiency rate on the AC side, we got 0.989 kilowatt hours. So that means 989 watt hours, which is actually 85.8% efficiency rate. So amazingly enough, this is more efficient on the AC side than it is on the DC side. And they're both very close. So let's go ahead and plug some stuff into this thing and see what kind of power we can get out of it. All right, I plugged in this Bouge RV Juusco into the all powers to see how much we could get out of the USB-C port. And it is showing that it is putting out 104 watts from this 100 watt port. But the Bouge RV shows that it's only inputting 91 watts. But still, this port is plenty fast enough. Next, I wanna make sure that the cigarette lighter port can pull up to 10 amps at 12 volts. Uh, this little vacuum here can actually pull about 11 amps, so it should be able to do it just fine. No problem. All right, and now on to the AC side. First, I want to make sure that it is a pure sine wave, and it does look like it is pure sine wave. Also, when it comes to the AC voltage, we're looking at 121.4, which is really good. Next, I want to see if it can actually power up to 1800 watts. And then what will happen if we go over 1800 watts? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my new wave up to 1300 watts, and then I'm gonna turn on this 500 watt heater. That should give us right at that 1800 watts. So let's go ahead and begin. New wave is on. We're at 1262 watts. Let's go ahead and turn on this heater. And we are right at 1800 watts. And now that the heater is warmed up, it's starting to go back down, but it handled that 1800 watts just fine. And it says it can run this load for about 32 minutes. So let's go ahead and turn on this 200 watt heater and see what happens. 1900, 1930, 1950, 2000. All right, it's going back down, but we're right at, right at 1970 watts. 
about 170 watts over what it should be. All right, and it just shut off. It took about two minutes for this to uh, shut off. And now there's an air code that says E2. All right, and the next thing I wanna know about this uh, R1500 is if it is a true UPS. Does it have that, that true uninterrupted power source? So right now it's charging at 511 watts. And actually, let me just go ahead and bring up the app on the screen right now. You can see that we're charging with uh, 511 watts of input and the output is 51 watts because it's powering this laptop right now. This laptop, the battery is completely dead on it. So it does not use any battery power whatsoever. And so what should happen is when this gets unplugged, the laptop shouldn't even notice. It should just turn off the power to this, but the laptop should stay on just fine. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, ready? Three, two, one. And the laptop stayed on, didn't even flinch. And just to show you that this laptop does not have a battery, let's go ahead and unplug it. And it immediately shuts off. All right, and a little bit more about this app. Um, you can go to your Google Play Store or your Apple Store and download the app for this uh, All Powers R1500. Uh, there's documentation in the manual to tell you how to do it. But once you do install it, you'll see the state of charge and percentage. You will also see the remaining time. Uh, you can see your inputs and your outputs in wattage. You can turn on and off the AC and DC plugs. And you can also change your AC from 50 hertz to 60 hertz. If you hit the three dots at the top right, uh, it will show you this screen here, which says work mode. Right now it's on standard mode, but what this is, is kind of like how fast you want it to charge. We have standard mode, there's also mute mode. If you charge on mute mode, it will charge at a rate of around 400 watts. If you charge it on standard mode, it can get up to a thousand watts of charging. But if you do it on fast mode, it can actually charge up to 1500 watts. There's also eco mode, and what that does is this unit will shut off in a predetermined amount of time. So you can either do one hour, two hours, four hours, or six hours. All right, well, if you have any questions about the All Powers R1500 portable power station or the 200 watt solar panel that it comes bundled with, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to these items in my description in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.